Welcome back to Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Thursday, March 12th, 2020. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Do you know those do you even memes that everyone blasts all over social media these days? Well, if you look at where Chase Savoy is a little more than a month out from his first event of the year, the answer to every single do you even meme that you send his way is yes. Yes, he does. The way things are going right now, Chase looks like he's a front runner with the 2020 Olympia nomination. And since he's already winning the popular vote, all he needs now is a few delegates to get on the board so we can see all the polls again later in September. I heard Joe Rogan describe MMA as being like a high-level chess game with a dire physical consequence on a few podcasts before. And I'll be the first to admit that the physical stakes in bodybuilding and MMA aren't even on the same stratosphere. But if I'm planning out my moves the way Jordan Plantico is right now, that doesn't mean I don't want my next move to be a checkmate situation. A few days ago, Jordan went on his social media and said that he still isn't sure if he's going to compete in 2020. For Jordan, this all boils down to being able to compete at the highest level, and he doesn't want to just rush into a situation before he feels like he's ready. But you never know, because if he gets ahead of schedule, I still wouldn't rule out a chance of us potentially seeing him become a force during the post-Olympia run at the end of the year. When you run a middle distance race, you really only have two strategies you can go on. You either want to come out strong right from the gate and hope that you can put enough distance between you and everyone else that it won't really matter if you run out of gas toward the end of the race, or you keep your pace moderate to start and then try to kick it into high gear and finish strong. And based on what I've seen from his first prep of the season, Mahmoud Eldara seems like he's opting to go through door number one. From a conditioning standpoint, this is the best I've seen Dara look this far out since his breakout year in 2018. So as long as he doesn't run out of gas too soon, I see him being an early front runner in whatever show he jumps into during this early part of the schedule. I know there's a gigantic scare going on with the whole coronavirus thing right now that's impacting international travel, but hopefully they get this thing figured out soon because the world needs to see Charlie Rodriguez on the New York Pro stage this spring. Rodriguez was the 2018 Mexican national overall champ, and I heard through the grapevine a few days ago that he's been targeting the New York Pro for his season debut. If you just go by the photos, Rodriguez looks like he has the right amount of shape and thickness to make things very interesting. So if he shows up locked in, a top five finish is certainly within the realm of possibilities. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.